What's up guys, welcome to the project file of coffee. It's quite old, it's ended in the 23rd of October I believe, because the aim was to release it before the end of the year, which unfortunately didn't make it. But first off, how did this track came to be? I knew exactly where I was, I was Dave, they were having a lunch on my birthday, when I got a mail from John Thomas like, hey Peter, how are you doing, do you want to remix this track for us, he's part of our label, Black Lemon Records, which are part of as well, yeah, that was a great start, so on, on my uh, birthday, I just went back to the studio and started working on this remix, I can show you the whole process from what it started to, as how it came to be, but let me just go into the project and see how I work, so first of all, you get stems and stems are part of a song of dip basically the different instrument of the song so for example this is the guitar so these which i received from john thomas he first off showed me the original song and after that he said okay do you think give it your own twist first of all i will take a look at what's used for from stems because sometimes there are just great parts in that you want to use i think i only used the strings and changed it yeah i used the strings yeah i used the strings and i used the vocal and for the rest of the track i just mainly started on building what i find the old but it's always good in a track to have things that are referencing to the original at least that's how i like if i do remixes i like to give it a bit of a change but also keep it quite true to original because that's just like how people familiarize so a cappella and strings are from uh, the original song and for the rest i just started building so first off the drums what i like to do in the first intro of the track is always make sure that my kick is filtered so i just make an eq8 and have it filtered at the low end and when the track is starting, it will shift from this to this. So much more thumb, much more like low end. And for the drops, I mainly start with plane kick. And then in the second part of the drop, I don't think I did this much to the track. I don't think I even added an EQ to it. Maybe in the uh, in the mixing phase. The only thing I really did on the snares is just some EQ on the hi-hats, some EQs, boosting the low end a bit on the, the all. And I process all the tracks differently. So it's basically quite a uh, quirk without that much effects on it, which is quite rare for me. Here as well, just some EQ. Here I have a glue compressor to give it a bit more like uh, groove in it. So these are the drums. Next up, leads and melodies. So I like to use a piano a lot. So that's why I started with a piano, which goes in the break like this. Which you definitely hear in the track as well. This is a uh, lush piano, so it gives some bit more vibe to it. And in the drop as well. It's an uh, Cork M1 piano, like the, the, the famous one. Uh, added some saturation, some OTT, lots of processing because there were quite some harsh frequencies. At the end, sidechain and another sidechain. Don't know why it's double in there, but it probably has a reason. I'm not perfect at all. For this and for the piano as well, cut it the mids a bit from the highs to give it a bit more space. Other parts are the synths, which is like an arp. Which doesn't sound like much, but it gives a, this really nice atmosphere to the to the whole track.
mainly what the synths are just doing are just adding a bit more present to everything that's in there but it is really far in the back it's really low in volume as well good to know as well this is the the version before it gets mastered and uh and mixed so the final product is sounding even more that's in the master and what i did as well i made my own saxophone This is like three or four layers of um, uh, different serum synths. I think it's a preset that I altered. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a it's a sample from Splice that I changed a bit to make it more fitting. Good to know. So the drop in total with all the elements. Uh, with all the, the synths, without without the bass, of course. Sounds like this. Sounds a bit dull, right? So let's go into the bass. I don't know if you can hear this, but it's just there's a sub bass playing, which is a preset I have. Kickstart to sidechain it, uh, and some compression to bring out the lows and cut a bit of the highs. Playing fairly a, a low frequency, and this is one of my presets as well. Which is basically boosting after. Added some R bass to give it a bit more body. Uh, also spawn, kickstart. Add some additional sidechain to make it a bit more uh, present. And if you do it together, it sounds like this. And basically this is makes the whole track for me together with the vocals because it's just... Yeah, it gives so much room and body to the sound. So yeah, this is how it sounds. Then, last but not least, the vocal. Could you fill up my coffee? I brought your cup. Good morning. I got no plans. What do you think? We could go back. There's no hurry. So I basically started with like just a plain simple vocal. Cut it a bit up to make the drop. There's no hurry, there's no hurry, there's no hurry. And then I added some focal chops. Press play. No one can take away. But if you add all the effects to it, some different delays, some reverbs, compression, some additional delays, that is just like automated. Hurry, could you fill up my coffee? I brought your cup. Oh yeah, there's a bass guitar in it as well, which I processed a lot.
So in the mixing phase, I just added a lot more uh, fine tweaks to it, which I won't going to show you now. Basically, one of my first ever songs that I'm, I'm really proud of, like after a long while. It also went really high on Beatport. Like uh, it was like in the almost in the top 10 in the Hype Top 100 and it was placed 42 in the Beatport Top 100 for Deepas, I believe. So the support is really incredible and I'm really thankful for that. And on the master, nothing much. Um, adapter because I like to reference A and B tracks and I put a master on it as well because then I can uh, basically make sure it's sounding good and when I'm going to ex master it for real I just put it down uh, but here you see that there's quite some more dbs in it but no settings to it just to give it some more a vibe and then mainly after this project this is one of the first projects i took this approach so it's a bit rough still but now how i do it i make sure there's a mass from a mix like just on my project as well to make sure that everything i do uh, translate at the end in the end to like when i play it on uh, on the stage so adopter i had four to so fine by padlock and party pupils show me love midnight hearts and gray zone and that's what i use here as well you see something called re reference uh, i used a reference as midnight hearts just to see how the track is built up like here you see intro 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 break uh, with vocal fill drums drop lead drop i just use it to give me more some reference and i don't want to replicate the song but it just gives me a structure so this is how my project came to life the full song you will be hearing now Wake me up in the dark, following down the stars I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be apart It's too early, it's an early rush Could you feel? Thank you all for watching and if there's anything to add to this or that i can improve my yeah my video with please let me know show me what you want to see more if you want me to do a full project let me know as well yeah just happy to show it here and hopefully somebody can learn from it or enjoy it if you're new here make sure to subscribe because there are lots more video like this coming i wish you all a pleasant day and see you in the future ciao Thank you.